hit it on go. Three, two, one, go. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good, Good luck. luck. Oh, baby. All right. <laughs> oh, baby. We are ready to go here. Well, what do, what do you guys think? Who's who's going to jump out uh, into the lead here early? I'm not sure. So no I, 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 yeah. I'm unfamiliar with uh, with both of their Mario Maker gameplay. I think Ryan, when he's uh, practiced and ready, I, I don't think he's holding the run button. He's not holding the run button. I don't think button. he's holding the <laughs> run button. <laughs> I think he forgot about the run button. Oh, there yeah, we go. He's, he's got it. it. He's got it. All right. This is this is where all players have <laughs> have struggled early. They've uh, <laughs> they've struggled to figure out this conveyor belt momentum for sure. I think Mathis is is making a little bit more progress, but Ryan, because he's dying close to the saw, I think he's going to get the jump first. I think he's he's I, realizing. I wonder if he's having the moment I had, which is feeling like it's impossible. Oh. No, there we go. Mathis has done it. He's oh. figured it out first. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ryan's still still struggling, but Mathis has got it down, and he's making progress. But it's going to be interesting to see if he can figure out the 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 the, the legendary spin jump debacle. <laughs> Will he the spin jump? On that jump is the was uh, the holdup for me first time. I was trying to like learn where on the ramp I needed to hit that button. Yeah, both players up. now tied immediately, both dying to the uh, the saw at the bottom of the conveyor. But it'll be I, I'm I'm impressed with how quickly they've figured out this oh, wow. momentum and Ryan has oh. immediately yeah, gotten into I'm the surprised. spin jump method. But I he right I will say Ryan is uh one to take suggestions from chat, so But Mathis as well. Both players neck and neck. They're they're both figuring it yeah. out at like the same time too. Yeah, yeah. This is good. Mathis looking happy with his progress. Yeah. <laughs> I think already he's showing that he he can he can keep up. This is the same thing that Dan did. Where I immediately went like, "All right, Dan's here to play." Took that jump a little bit too high. I I, I don't know. I'm I'm pretty confident my, that both these players will uh, will reach the the checkpoint now. I'm I'm really happy with this really early progress. I'm so happy that's a copy paste during your People were very happy with your song. <laughs> we did I did unmute He's during that song, song, so people were, were really excited about it. Oof. But yeah, it, it, it'll be interesting to see when they get to that the small tunnel. The, the the big tunnel's pretty straightforward, but that small tunnel has some pretty dicey jumps. I think that's where most players have struggled. Is that uh, that small tunnel? I really, really like the flow of this section. Yeah, it you, nice. it, you really like early on. You feel like, well, this I just keep running into the saw. How am I ever going to do this consistently? But then you realize, like, it's just got a really nice jump timing to it. Yeah. Ryan's looking good here, but yeah, see, it's it's those downward slopes every time. Ooh, yeah, Mathis yeah. takes the lead into the big tunnel. Oh, into the big tunnel, and he's been making the most progress the most quickly here. It is early, but I think we're we're in store for another close game here. I hope I hope he's figured out spin jumps for the big tunnel. Ooh, Ryan, though, as well, also into the big tunnel. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey. This is about the same progress that I think uh, Baron Jasky had. Even I think I think this is uh, maybe a little bit slower than that, but a bit a bit faster than than Justin and Dan, I will say. But not by much. I think all six players seem to be extremely similar in skill. Look at Mathis go with those jumps. I, he's got a good timing to that. I was saying his his skill level was a mystery coming in, but he's got yeah, the lead. Yeah, well, I was gonna say like it's a mystery to me, but uh, <clears throat> like, are are you aware of his uh, his Mario Maker accolades or like? What's... I know he played alongside Ryan in their YouTube series. But okay, okay. From what I heard from Ryan is that both him and Dan were both below Ryan in skill level for that series, but that was from Ryan's so perspective. From, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, I, I mean, it's hard to trust that coming in. Ryan, though, going to mm -hmm. grab the lead here. 
making really good progress, but dies on the other end of the small tunnel. Uh, yep. That'll be a, a pretty significant point of, uh, of contention here because it is a tough jump to get down. Yeah, I spent until, like, my last few attempts, I spent my entire time full spin jumping that section, but, like, pulling back a tiny bit and then back forward. It was very awkward. Ryan, though, he's starting to look clean. Mm, yep, that's... Oh, yeah. Died at the end of the tiny tunnel again, but get got there swiftly. It was just there a moment ago. Math takes another death on the big tunnel. I wonder, do you guys think we're going to have another double muncher face-off? You think it's going to come down to that one again? I think that is the most difficult part, at least to, like, sight read in the second bit, so probably. But I think both of them look like they're going to finish this first section easily. Yeah. It's looking good, Mathis. See if he gets the tiny tunnel. Too big of a jump. But I, I, what's really key here, I think, is the consistency. Oh, look at Ryan go. Doesn't get oh, wow. the big jump there. Oh. That's oh. incredible progress. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah I th this is like some of the best progress we've seen of all six of the contenders right now. If Ryan had any rust, he is shaking it off, at, I think, instantly upon starting. I mean, he did literally not hold the run button at the start. <laughs> so it, it was looking grim, but... <laughs> well, I was told uh, that he was told I didn't press Z. So he said, fine, I'm not going to press run. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That would explain it. That would definitely, definitely explain it. I'd be really interested to see if either of these guys can make the 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 second checkpoint. No one's made it that far yet. Chat voted before we started all the matches uh, that 59% of chat thought that someone would beat the level. Wow. But it's... Uh, that's, that's, really gotten close, huh? Yeah, it's looking less likely. Well, the, the big thing is that the third section is definitely easier than the second section. The second section yeah. is a huge roadblock, but um, I, I think if Bear had had figured out those uh, those, the, those jumps a bit better like he seemed to definitely struggle like a lot on those those middle jumps had he done that i think he could have very easily beaten the map at that point because you can see when he got to that final jump he uh he had it down pretty well ryan back in the big tunnel out of yeah, the small tunnel mathis as well both of them take a death though i think this time we uh we listen in now See how uh, see how Mathis is doing first. I don't know if I'm I'm, I'm going. It's tough. Oh! <laughs> well, we made progress. We made progress, but I hit Z. I don't know if I was supposed to hit Z, actually, now that I looked back at the stage, but it's fine. What, why did I jump there? Ooh, I wonder if I can, like, short hop there. There's probably no reason to. Probably no reason to. Mm, I feel attacked. <laughs> you can see he's really processing the map one, one like, spot at a, a time. Right there. Ryan. Short hop, it's just harder. Yeah. More progress. I, I want to try that. Uh, there's no, there's no reason to introduce. Uh, you only have like an hour time limit, so like, why introduce mechanics that you're not even sure are gonna work? Just stick with the short hop, or stick with the the spin jump rather, and don't bother with the short hop. Oops, ran right into it. All right, let's switch over to Ryan here and see how he's feeling. Why am I commentating? Cause I respect my good friend Apollo. Too much for his baby, the Checkpoint League, to fall asleep while I'm watching. You see this new trend in 2020? Live streamers are starting to stream themselves sleeping. It's a big change. 2019, it was the viewers that were sleeping. 2020, it's the streamers that are sleeping. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> 
Uh, and that's why that's why he loves to put on a show. You can really tell. But uh, I think I think we're hitting we're gonna hit a regression point any minute here now. I think both players are gonna start if it follows the trend of the last two games, we're gonna start hitting a lot of repeat deaths. I mean, look, they died in the same exact spot at the same exact time. It was amazing. <laughs> it's almost like a oh, planet. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. But there's just a point in Mario Make. I, I can't explain it. It happens in Dark Souls too and in other games that are challenging. Like you just hit a point where you stop making progress. And you just start making oh, yeah. the same mistake over and over until you like break out of that trend. It looks like if neither player makes any significant progress here, Bear will be uh, uh, the winner of a, a meaningless but cool award as uh, the fastest person to get a checkpoint. Both players making a bit of progress there. Ryan still holds a slight lead, but only a slight lead. These guys are like, even their gameplay is neck and neck. It's crazy. Yeah, I really like how close this is. Ryan mistakenly does a spin jump. And you can see you can see what the, those are the kind of jumps where they didn't ride the conveyor long enough right there. Ryan just jumped a little bit too early, didn't get enough momentum, so it just it makes it seem like the jump is really hard, but it's just Ooh, he almost did it again there, but just snuck over it. Mathis! Mathis makes progress! I think that's a lead, maybe? I, I think that might be the same... The same saw. Uh, we might be tied here again. I think Ryan died on the second did he, saw. Did he, did he die on the right saw? So we're just... we're so, yeah. Okay, so Ryan's still got a very, very slight lead. And he died there again. It is so close. Both players really consistent, though. Ryan, here we go again. Makes the jump. He's got progress, but overshoots the conveyor. Falls into the pit. It's a mistake I believe Justin made as well at one point. But, man, he, he they're making it really consistently to the big tunnel. I think that's... That's really showing that we're going to have uh, both players make it pretty early to the first checkpoint. He's got the rhythm out of the big tunnel again, into the small tunnel, down the jump. Doesn't clear the saw, though. Oof. Ryan, I, I am blown away by this. I don't think any of the other four players, I know we have two of them here, but I don't think any of the other four players had this much consistency on this first section. Maybe Bear Taffy, but I feel like Bear Taffy did hit at least one pocket of like doing bad. Ryan, though, he's making progress again. One more jump to go. He's got it. Checkpoint oh, cool. reached. 13 minutes in, only one minute slower than Bear Taffy. But we have a checkpoint, and now Ryan can start building his lead here. As Mathis still on the first section, but not too far behind here. Ryan's got a long way to go. Let's see how quickly he figures out the second section. As Mathis also making some good jumps here. Oh, it just clips the saw, though. Oh, Bear was 16 minutes, so Ryan actually... I, I Never mind, three minutes faster than Bear, and he takes the lead for quickest first checkpoint. I thought it was 12 minutes. But an incredibly impressive showing from Ryan. Yeah, that was amazing. That was extremely... I, that's, the, that's what consistency gets you. If you can really just nail the same jumps over and over, that it gives you so many more attempts at learning the, the, the later jumps of a section. So if you can just not hit that regression pocket, then you can you can really do something like this and just get a super early checkpoint. Mathis is still looking good though, just jumping a little bit too early. Oh my goodness! I turned for two seconds and Ryan checkpoint. He mm -hmm. took the lead for fastest checkpoint. In fact, my goodness, that was faster than Bear. I thought it, Bear had an eleven minutes. No, nah, apparently it was sixteen minutes. Oh wow. But we'll see if Ryan suffers from the same thing that Bear did, which was a huge slowdown on the uh, 
on the second section. Mathis, ah, oh, just can't figure out that small tunnel. Needs a much shorter hop to get down there. You see Ryan opting for spin jumps the whole way through. It's the strat, man. Math is back in the small tunnel. Still takes it a bit too fast. We'll go ahead and listen in on Mathis again to see how he's feeling now. I can only say I'm hitting Z so many times before it just sounds like an excuse. I am hitting Z. And yeah, so Bear's not here because I think he had this issue too. But Mathis uh, mentioned it there. But uh, the 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 Z jump or even just jumps in general, if you hit them right before you land, it it will actually not count your jump, and and, and you will not jump. And uh, that seems to be kind of a, an issue with with tighter jumps is uh, if you hit it a little I... bit too early. It causes I did that, that a issue. Few times in the big tunnel, for sure. I didn't see what Ryan did. Chat's laughing at him. Let's unmute him and see how he's going here. Apparently, he did something a little silly. It's called air control, sweetheart. Look it up. That was too early. I could tell that one was too early. Keep cycling. That's just dumb. Keep breathing. <laughs> Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Incredible. He's doing the Jasky strat here, taking this this section slow. There. CO2 in the bloodstream slightly high. There you go. Okay, so we're going to take a second. We're going to take a second. We're going to yeet it. I just <laughs> cerebellum. The cerebellum gave me a little jump scare. I jumped right into the saw. <laughs> Holy shit. Ryan, uh, you know, had the had some success, but uh, <laughs> some very silly mistakes. <laughs> so, so Jesse, you, I, I want to ask, you, you took this section slow at the start, but you started, spe like, every time you got to it, you took it a little bit faster each time until you were doing the same thing Bear was doing. Uh, do you do you think going faster was easier there than going slower, or were you just feeling like pressed for time? Um, the reason I started going faster was yeah, I wanted to get more attempts on the double muncher. So it was like the faster I do this, the more attempts I'll have in the long run. So he got over the double muncher on the first try, but walked into it. I think you did that too as well, <laughs> yeah. Jasky. I think you got <laughs> yeah, over in your first sure. try, but yeah. then walked into it. That's a tough I one. Like I wanna, Ryan... That's one that I want to practice a bunch. I'm annoyed. Yeah. I never cleared it. I feel like Ryan's pacing here is putting him at like the the best today so far, right? Yeah. No, he is. He is yeah. going extremely fast. Um, but I mean, Bear was in a similar boat. He he had a very very strong start, but slowed way down here. Um, so Mathis still has that window to get in here, because uh, Jasky, you didn't see it, but in in Justin's game. He didn't have a lot of time on this section when he got here, but he made a lot of progress very quickly here. Like he he breezed through a lot of these jumps on his first try. Um, yeah. So I I think anything can happen once we're we're at that point. We'll see if Mathis can make it to that that checkpoint. He's just really struggling on this uh, this one jump here. He yeah, I think he's suffering from the same problem I had, where you you don't realize that that jump is free if you just tap. Spin jump. Um, there he goes. It took me a while to click it. Oh, it doesn't ride the conveyor, but he does make it through it. Maybe that'll give him the the breath of fresh air he needs to mm. to make it through that. Ryan back at double munchers. No, oh, wow. Ooh, 
Makes it through second two. Second time at double munchers, second time over it. Oh my. Dies on the third, though. Mathis That's crazy. making it through the, the jump he's struggling with as well a second time in a row, so maybe he's about to make some progress. We'll see. But definitely a sizable lead very early for Ryan, although we are 20 minutes in already. That, I feel like that flew by pretty quick. Interesting to see him take this section slow as well, though. That one is definitely easier the faster you take it. Mathis has definitely figured out that jump three times in a row now, so maybe he will make it on through there. I think things are going to get real tough for Mathis if he can't get this checkpoint quick here, though. If he hits another pocket of regression and then starts struggling like he is right now, it'll uh, it'll be very tough to, to take this early lead from Ryan. I think the worst part about Ryan doing so well is how much he adamantly didn't practice beforehand. <laughs> that is the kind of person that he is. Mm -hmm. I, I, I expected him to either uh, flub it or just absolutely cakewalk it because he just kind of does that. He's got that kind of uh, muscle memory that, that helps him out. Or he lied and practiced. That also is possible. <laughs> that, too, yeah. that could definitely uh, have happened. All right, Mathis with another attempt at the big tunnel, but doesn't quite get out of that second jump. But Ryan, uh, he's he might be doing the same thing Bear is doing here, which is uh, struggling a bit on these uh, early sections, which will open the window again for Mathis to catch up. It's just going to come down to whether Mathis can can get those second objectives quickly if he does end up making it that far. Oh, he landed slightly awkwardly on that conveyor, and it, it messed him up. It's a shame that this hasn't completed. He, I feel like he has gotten very consistent here. Yeah. Just clips the saw right again. There. If he can keep this up, I think he'll have it. I think he'll have the checkpoint. He just needs to not lose the progress he's made. That's the key here. That'll be so important for, for all of you guys going forward is, is when you do start to get an objective consistently, don't lose that consistency. Don't let it slip away from you. Because when you do, it can really cost you like minutes of time having to reset on something. Let's give another uh, peek here as uh, as we approach the halfway point to Mathis, see how he's doing. The first freaking part of the level, so no matter where he's stuck, he's already winning. You can see he realizes that, uh, that Ryan is ahead. So the mental game is in effect now. Knowing that you're behind can uh, make you play better or worse, depending on the kind of player you are. don't know what to do different there. I've done it later. I've done it later and I've done it earlier and they both hit me either too far to the left or on top. I mean, obviously it's beatable, but I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. Because spin jump ain't going to do it. That's the kind of struggle you can have on certain objectives when you when you don't feel like you know what to do. You can start to change things that you don't necessarily need to change. Let's take a peek back at Ryan, see if his spirits are still high. Take a moment. You take a deep breath. You go, hold on. I'm not going to take a deep breath because I got a burp. <laughs> I apologize. But when it's there, it's there. There's nothing you can do about it. This isn't your average low energy stream. Excuse me while I hit my cough button. This is a time sensitive... It's a time-sensitive 
experience getting over it times 10 climbing the mountain sans hammer sans hammer Saul's hammer. He's doing it. You should really put a flag there. If a flag was there, oh baby. Oh, I think Math has made some progress a, there. A coward would have put a, a flag there. I think I need a song parody in my head. I need a I need like a sixty BPM. I know, that's slow. Look, you guys are going to have to go to his channel if you want to hear the song parodies, all right? We're just we're just here for the gameplay. And that's why the multiple perspectives are good. If you want to go back uh, and watch the, the different solo perspectives, if you're watching here or you know, vice versa, although they can't hear us right now, um, you can do so uh, and see what the individual players experienced through, uh, through each level. But right now, Mathis is on the cusp of completing this first checkpoint, I feel like. And since Ryan is uh, really not even consistently making it to the double munchers anymore, um, that that means he's not really progressing on them. Like, you don't really get a lot of progress if you're dying to stuff you already know how to beat. Uh, but again, of course, for, for Math at the same time too. He's he's kind of doing the same thing on section one. He's got a good run going here, but just can't make it over the last saw. I feel for Mathis. I've been in the spot where, like, you have all the tools. Yeah. Do you think there's some kind of mental attitude you need to have going in here? Like, when you when you know you're behind? Yeah, so I think a bit of it is, like, if, for me at least, a bit of it was certainly focus. There were, like, some runs where I, like, clearly was not focusing on doing the jumps and was just dying to not thinking, you know? Um, so I think there is an element of the mental game to it. That's fair. I, yeah, I, th I think you can see that he know he knows he can do it. Like you, you can tell he he understands the jumps. He's got some progress here. He just misses it though. We saw Dan hit that one a lot as well. But I feel like at this point in the match, I feel like Bear had started to make more progress than Ryan has. So I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm going. I think Mathis has more space to make this up right now. Uh, than you had against Bear. Because I think Bear had, had had a couple of good double muncher runs at this point. Um, mm -hmm. But but he, the, the the struggle is definitely similar. Like, you can see, like, when you get there, you feel really confident about the jumps, but then having to do all of them in a row uh, can can start to, to have an impact or have an effect. Uh, an important thing, especially if you're behind, is to not get tilted. You know, if you're ahead, you have that that cushion. But uh, if you're behind and you start to get tilted, that can easily just doom you from the start and make it very hard to to progress. Mathis has a good shot here. That was it. He had it. That oh. was that was the attempt right there. Just barely misses it though. That would have definitely been, I think, the uh, the checkpoint. But he he is so close. He can absolutely do this at, on any of these attempts right now. He has everything he needs. He just needs to execute. Ooh, he's looking pretty good here. He's got the speed. He's got oh, he spun. He spin jumped. No. Oh, no. oh he had it. Two attempts in a row. It's brutal. And we look back to Ryan. Ryan is struggling. He cannot make it back to those double munchers. Let's listen back in on Mathis here as he is potentially, potentially about to get that first checkpoint. Rain has fried. Looking good here. Looking great here. Oh, he didn't spin. 
You can tell the frustration as he's uh, inputting the wrong jumps. But the consistency at which he's getting there, he's gotta have it soon. Looks good. Looks good. Oh, what? just a little. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do there? I jumped too late that time. He's what right. Like I don't have the momentum to jump any earlier. He did jump too late there. See that 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 confusion though. That that bit of frustration can cloud your judgment. He absolutely was too late there. Fuck. Let's go back in on Ryan here and see how he's doing. I'm worried for you. Don't be. You know why? Dignity preserved. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I think he's 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 getting a little more focused. Though. I think he's I he's realizing. Ooh. He's realizing that he's he's not jump. doing too well. Why wouldn't you spin, dude? Try again. Okay, it goes something like this. It goes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Try one more time. <laughs> <sighs> He's trying to keep a. Po I, I respect it. Keep a positive attitude. Don't get frustrated. Don't get tilted. It's worked for him so far. I'm really pulling for Mathis here to get this checkpoint, though. We are we are over halfway now, and this is about the time I think Jasky, you got your checkpoint. Sounds All right, about right yeah. here we go. Big jump! Oh, he again. He still stayed too long on it. Oh, he just can't seem to figure out that he's that he's staying too long. Ryan gets to the double munchers again finally, but for some reason does not do a spin jump and hits the first one. Math is another good attempt here. Solid jumps, needs a big jump here, gets it. Small jump, big jump. He looks like he's got it. No! Oh, that was it! Oh, oh that is devastating. Oh, that is oh, brutal. No. That's rough. Oh, is he the first one to die on those? I saws? believe so. Yes, I don't think anyone oh. else has died to that saw. That has got to sting, but you got to oh. turn that into a positive. You know you're right there. Mm -hmm. You know it's there. I could see him clearing it on this attempt with that kind of positivity if he if he plays it. He has got a good attempt here. He's looking clean. He's looking clean. He's got it. That's the there. kind of thing you can do, and we are we got a close game again. It's back on. He's cleared it. And let's see if he can make quick progress here. He needs to figure out these objectives quick. Ryan has only made it to the first double muncher. That is the hardest part of this section. So Mathis can very easily catch back up. And we could be looking at whoever makes it past that objective first is the winner. Yeah, it's super close to being dead even here. Once, once Mathis kind of gets these first sections down. Oh, I, I chat saying Ryan got to the third muncher apparently, so. Oh yeah, that no, does, he did die on third muncher. Okay, yeah. that does give him a bit of an advantage then for sure. But struggling, still struggling. Now, how Mathis approaches this jump here is going to be interesting. Does he take it slow? He does take it slow, and he seems to be clearing it on the first try. Yeah, he's going to get it. On if I'm not mistaken, wasn't Bear also on third muncher when Jasky checkpointed into here? I think so. Yeah. All right, here we go. Another important Sorry. one for Mathis to figure out. Hits the muncher, though. Ryan's ah. been struggling a lot on this, too. That's It's deceivingly easy, that you, section, if you know what I mean. You you ju If you go quick, you'll make it almost every time. That was, the I think, the thing that was making you struggle was that that is a section you really want to do fast. Um, I found it, actually. I found a rhythm stopping. In the, oh, yeah, no, the, you can definitely do it, but... but. I, I think it becomes easier when you go fast. Because that momentum over the first muncher, you have more space in, in, than you think in between those saws. And so you have a bunch of forward momentum going. And if you're, if you're going almost full speed and you just do a, a small spin jump, you'll get it almost every try. But now with, uh, with 26 minutes remaining, we're, we're close to dead even here. You can see, I, I, I like this. I like that Mathis is, to, is taking it extremely slowly. This could give him an early like lead here. It won't help him learn the objectives as well, but it will make sure that he, he gets to that point a bit quicker, or, or a bit more often, I mean, than Ryan, if Ryan's struggling. Ryan is back at double munchers, though. 
He does make the first one, makes the second one as well. Will he make some progress? He's on the last one, and he makes it over. He's cleared double munchers. He's on to the other saws. Really? This is a important goodness. timing for him. He slides, though. Ra Mathis as well yeah, made it to double munchers, though. Oh. That horrid slide. Mathis did make it two double munchers, so... This is right now the favor goes to Ryan because he's got the experience here, but Mathis is looking clean. If he can clean up that Muncher Saw combo section, if he can clean that up, I could see him taking the lead here for sure. Because right now Ryan's it's it's basically Bear versus Jasky again, and where Ryan is Bear and Mathis is Jasky. We have one person taking it pretty quickly, one person taking it a bit more slowly, which I think early on favors the slower person, but if, if the slower player starts to die too much, then it favors that fast player. They're going to get more attempts in. Like, you can see Ryan's already back to double munchers again here. But he takes a death on the first one. Clears the spike trap section. Math is back onto the big saws. Those jumps relatively easy. Here's this section again, though. He is taking it slow. And I think that's going to cost him. Yes, unfortunately, this means that Dan was the only one not to clear the first screen. But he got close. He got extremely close. Let's see how Mathis feels about this section. Almost. A little too, too far right, back. Oh. Again. Too far back. Takes a death on the saw again, though. Ouch. Math is picking up speed. You can tell he's going I'm a little bit much. quicker now. Both Bryant Mathis is uh, very focused right now. You can tell. He knows he can catch up now. Fuck. Let's go ahead and get with Ryan here as he's doing this objective again. Might make some progress. <sighs> Avoids the slide. Makes it over. He's made progress. He's on to the conveyors. What are you doing here, you son of a bitch? What are you doing? You're a madman. It took me half an hour I just to get to this point. You're going to make me do it any further? So we're going to analyze it with the computer brain. <laughs> These are fast conveyor belt spins. <laughs> You're a son of a bitch. You're a real son of a bitch. You're a real piece of work. <laughs> it's not enough for you to put the knife in. Just when I get used to the pain, you twist it so the wound won't heal properly. Oh, you love to see it. <laughs> you love to see it. Oh, but yeah, that's uh, that's a bad sign, I think, for Ryan because Bear kind of understood that momentum. I think the first time he got to the conveyors, he got all the way to the last saw uh, on, on the conveyors, or at least the last one before that uh, spike trap section. And uh, Ryan, although you, you can tell on his first jump, he really didn't understand the momentum on it, so mm. he might struggle going through there. <sighs> Math is still, uh, it's it's looking bad because he's struggling on that saw muncher combo. That that will that will hurt him at the end if he can't make it through there quickly enough because he's going to have to get some attempts on these double munchers. Ryan doing pretty well with that. Back to the double munchers. Almost hits the saw, but... Doing it well. He's found a rhythm. That's I think that's the best player we've seen for double munchers so far. Mathis, though, on double munchers. Makes it over the first one, but goes a bit too far. Clips the second one. Still a close game. With 20 minutes remaining, Mathis has to hit the gas here. If he wants to, uh, to take the lead. See how he does here. See if he improves on this section. He is getting it down, though. He understands the jumps, and Mathis is gaining some consistency. Slides into the second muncher again, though. Unfortunate. 
But both players seem to be use, utilizing about, I think, exactly the same strats for each section here. And that's going to favor Ryan slightly, but Ryan needs to not regress here. If he regresses, it could be a, a window for Mathis for sure. But the way he's handling these double munchers, it's looking really clean. He's making it through them almost every time, and that's huge. No one has done that yet. No one has mastered the double munchers this well. Yeah, that's impressive. And he's back onto the conveyor again. Can he figure it out? Does the same thing. That's not a good look. He doesn't quite understand the momentum. Yeah, it's a Suna jump there, right? Like yeah, you 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 don't wanna like you don't that. want the momentum. You don't wanna pretty much get any at all. Like you wanna jump, jump, jump as quick as you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there is the the later ones though. When the saws get a bit higher, those you do need to kind of time your jump out a bit and get a little bit of conveyor momentum. Ooh, Mathis looking clean on the spike trap section. See if he uh, does well here. A little bit too far. Clips the saw. Ryan's still taking that section a bit slowly, though. <sighs> Ryan makes the same exact mistake and dies the same way. Mathis clips a muncher. But Ryan's still with a nice, I would say a comfortable lead here. But he really needs to make more progress if he wants to, to seal this. I think Mathis could easily get that far in the remaining 19... Uh, minutes i think mathis could very easily pass that point so ryan needs to go a little bit farther and extend that if he wants to stay safe so ryan's uh you know, for this point right now is first first saw on the belts right uh second saw i think he got over the first saw and keeps running into the okay, second okay. saw mathis looked pretty good on the double munchers but just didn't hold right far enough but he's learning and this is where it gets scary for ryan mathis is making consistent progress right now yeah, with like 18 minutes left, it's plenty of time. To uh, yeah. Plenty of ahead. time. It'll be interesting to see how he does on the, the saw screen before the conveyors. Bear had a bit of trouble with that. Ryan doesn't seem to be struggling with it. Um, I, again, I am amazed at Ryan's consistency on these double munchers. It's crazy. He really understands those jumps, and he's going to get another attempt here, assuming he doesn't mess up these jumps. At the conveyors. Let's see if he's learned anything and uh, takes the jumps a bit quicker this time. Oh, he goes for non-spin jumps, and it works. It does. He does technically gain a little bit of progress. He dies on the right side of that saw instead of the left, but not a, not a significant amount. Let's listen on Mathis again, see how he's feeling. His jumps are so clean right now. Oh, and I had to, I jinxed him. Thank you, thank you. I, I gave him the jinx. I love the focus. He he's making it very cleanly through these sections right now. These these first three. Still struggling with that one though. I'm vibing now. No rush. Ryan finally takes the double muncher death. Finally. After so many successful clears. You, time is a construct. Except the fact that we experience it linear, linearly. I, I really like Mathis's cleanness through these sections. It's giving him more time. See if he can make it through this. Ryan takes a death here. So does Mathis. I'm not, I'm not tapping it like gently enough. Let's go back to Ryan, see how he's feeling with Mathis bringing down oh, his neck. Yeah. He's still singing. Every minute, every waking hour, I'm choosing to do spin jumps. Trying to beat a podcaster, and I don't know if I can do it. 
Oh no, it's three spin jumps. Followed by three spin jumps. He seems to be having a good time. Both players at the same point here, though. Mathis, he, he took a little speed there. He tried to go a little bit faster, but he just kind of mistimed the jump a little bit. Man, this is close. I think I I really think Ryan has not made enough progress here, but Mathis is struggling to make it past or make it to those double munchers. But the second he does, if he can clear those double munchers, he has a path to take the lead for sure. Ryan has struggled too much on those conveyors. And that has that has definitely given Mathis an opportunity here. But here we go again. Double munchers for Ryan. Makes it past the saw. One more easy jump to go, and he's got it. So here, another attempt potentially. Mathis also at double munchers. Clears the first one, but slides into the second one. Ryan, back to conveyors. Can he finally make some progress here? He needs to make progress here. He doesn't. He launches into the saw again. It's huge. He really doesn't understand that section, and that might cost him the game if Mathis can just get past those double munchers. Yeah, that's a real roadblock for him. But at the same time, Mathis struggling with the Saw's Muncher combo. Ryan's kind of got the, the, the feel for it, as well as the Double Munchers as well, as he reaches this point again. Looking pretty clean, and another successful Double Muncher. Taking his time on this jump, which is good. It, it is a pretty easy jump if you take your time. And here we go again, back to conveyors. Will he understand this jump? He's got a smile on his face. Oh, he's trying to take it way too slow. Oh, but it does... Oh, it almost worked. I think that also is technically a little bit further than last time by maybe some uh, small amounts of pixels, but still no significant progress in terms of uh, completing the objective. Mathis, though, he actually makes the clean jump uh, with speed over the muncher in the saw section. But oh, that might help him. If he can get that timing down, that's, that could be huge. Mm -hmm. There is just enough time left for him to make progress with 13 minutes remaining. But Ryan is so consistent right now. It might be a little too late for Mathis. I've returned for the final 13 minutes. All right, well, we've got a close game here. Ryan back to the saw section. If you... Uh, if you haven't been watching Bear, he's really struggling on these conveyors. He just does not understand them. Oh, no. But he he's a, he's brilliant at the double munchers. He gets it almost every time. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Mathis that's back to double munchers. To get back there. Mathis making progress. This could be huge, but he misses the third one. Ryan, though, as well, finally clears the conveyors. This is huge. He makes it through the third one as well. Oh, oh. He could take the overall lead here. He needs to recognize that it's a reverse conveyor. Let's listen to him in right now. Direction. The conveyor belt is on backwards. He notices. Can I even stand here? <gasps> he goes for a non-spin jump and it works. Oh, he ties mere, bear for mere progress. Mere oh. milliseconds away from redemption. That is huge. That could that could be the game winner right there. That sequence right there could have just won him the game. That is exactly what Ryan needed to seal this. And now Mathis's job becomes a lot harder. Yeah, because he's still got to clear double munches and then get that far in the conveyor section but, in, what, 11 minutes? But Bear pr almost one-shot the conveyor section on the first go-around. He got all the way to the... The third saw on the second to last row on his first try at the conveyors. So it is possible that Mathis could just mm -hmm. could just nail I'm it. Always but... better, I'm always better on my first go than I am on my second through twentieth <laughs> go. Yeah. Say. <laughs> that is that is a common thing, I think, in Mario Maker. Mathis, he's figured out the speed strat for the Muncher Saw combo. And you can see they're both players here on double munchers. Mathis, I think he's starting to get it. Oh, I'm very just... impressive with the clips it oh geez i'm very impressed with mathis he's he's been he is he definitely yeah, he's, he's here to compete for sure 
I mean, right now in terms of progress, Ryan and Bear are essentially tied for the lead in overall progress. Uh, I believe Justin is next. Uh, I don't think Jasky, you ever did you ever make it past the double munchers? I don't think you did, right? No. Yeah, so then Jasky is. Uh, uh, I think Jasky and Mathis are next tied pretty much at double munchers. We're about the same. He's a little further than me, I think, but not by much. So, I mean, that goes to show, like, that is all, that is five of the six players neck and neck. And, and, it, and I don't think Dan would have been far behind had he gotten that checkpoint. Where did Dan end up? He got to the second to last jump on the first section. Oh, okay. Math is back to double munchers, but a slip and a slide. And every death costs him now with only nine and a half minutes remaining. It is going to be extremely difficult for Mathis here, but he, he can do it. The, the path is still there. But will Ryan, uh, the question now becomes, will Ryan get the checkpoint? Nobody has gotten the next checkpoint yet, but Ryan is on the cusp with uh, nine minutes remaining. It's entirely possible as he is here again, about to approach the conveyor section. A little distracted by a bowl of strawberries, but... He does I'm amazed he doesn't seem to understand the conveyor section still. I I am shocked he made it as far as he did there. Math this bit by bit. Oh, did I spy Dan putting in some uh, practice? I don't know. I saw that, things? too. I don't know. <laughs> Dan might feel the heat as the only one to not make it to the second section. He might be like, hey, I got I to gotta put in the, the work here. And as, as we've said before, uh, all the players have the opportunity now to have a, uh, a map to practice with this one. And every week they'll get an extra map that they can potentially practice uh, to improve their skills. Ryan again at double munchers. Mathis, it's it's do or die now. He must clear double munchers. Oh, but he doesn't make it quite there. Ryan completes double munchers again. And here we go in the conveyor section. He makes the first jumps. Those was where he was uh, struggling most. Clears the second jumps as well onto the third row. These are the hardest jumps here. And yep, he launches into the second saw. <laughs> <laughs> progress and yep not made mathis on can he make progress here he has one jump away but he walks into the muncher no oh he no. had it dude i feel that pain of man that it was brutal absolutely yeah, brutal that's soul crushing right there And now I kept blaming uh, oh. Toadette's pigtails for half my. Deaths. We we heard that we we <laughs> listened in uh, as uh, as I think I quote cut your goddamn uh, hair uh, pigtails <laughs> yeah it was, was what we heard. I don't I don't know if if Ryan now can uh, can get that. I do want to see at least one person get that checkpoint, but I don't know if Ryan is going to have the time here. He can do it, but he needs a really good attempt. Mathis though. I mean, I'm not going to count him out just yet. It's looking dire, but with it a, an amazing performance, he could potentially make some progress. He's yeah. really yeah, getting if he, these... If he just... All he has to do is beat these. Oh, he it's doesn't like... quite make it. Oh. So close. Yeah, it's tough now. He yeah. needs to get past this and have a good attempt. He's going to have to have a god attempt after it, for yeah. sure. And I, and I worry because this section that Ryan's on right now is is tough. It, it's tough on a first go through uh, to learn. So let's see, Ryan, a potential checkpoint here if he can make these jumps. He is looking a little shaky, though. He does make it, though. Three jumps away. Two jumps away. One jump. Ryan is one jump away from the checkpoint. He could be our oh first player here to do it. Word. He jumps. He clears it. He has gotten to the second checkpoint, wow. the only player to do so. What a champion. Hell yeah. And here he is on the backwards section. Let's go ahead and listen in. The light, it's just, it's a folded level? It's just a folded level? 
<laughs> oh! We have no choice but to stand. Let's do it. I'm not coming for the other five people in this competition. I'm coming for you, Apollo. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Oh, we'll see what he says after uh, after after platformality too. Honestly, we'll see how he feels about that one. But th I mean, I, I cannot uh, deny this is extremely impressive. Yeah, what a great showing. I think for sure at this point we can we can probably call him the winner of this game. I think uh, since he got the checkpoint, it's almost impossible for Mathis to catch up, but still technically possible. Yep. We'll, we'll see if yeah, Mathis God run. can maybe just. Uh, get a higher placing the placings don't really matter overall but it is interesting to see who got the furthest in each level uh, individually and you can see ryan th this is uh, the trickiest part here to learn is the reverse momentum we haven't seen a player get this far but uh the, going backwards the jumps are extremely awkward like they they don't feel right um you need to catch the conveyor and then immediately switch your momentum forward to the left um, to get a big jump, and, and I, I don't know if Ryan will have the time with four minutes left to figure that out. Espe oh, R Mathis made it past double hunters. Oh wow! Uh, a, a nice moral victory there um, yeah. for him. We'll see if he can make it uh, any significant amount here. Oh, he slides in and he ties Justin with that death oh. for third place. So we have a, a virtual tie for third there. Oh, Ryan! Ryan! Ryan is man. Ryan is looking like the man to beat now in this tournament. He was he was a Mario boy. He was, mm -hmm. and he played a lot of it. And I and I said coming forward, it, he would he had the skill. It was really just will the lack of practice uh, have an effect? And the answer, if it is true that he did not practice, is no. He's got just as much skill as he had when he quit playing uh, many months ago. But we'll see how far he can get here. Again, very unlikely that he'll beat the level. Because uh, there are two extremely difficult jumps that require a good amount of learning. Um, but we'll see how far he can make it with two minutes left. Ooh, he's he's figuring it out though. Like I, I think with another ten minutes or so, he would beat this level. I, I think he would absolutely beat this level had he had a little bit more time. I mean, maybe maybe he'll even continue playing the level. I don't know. Uh, he might feel the burn to try to complete it. But I mean, this and I mentioned this during the clear check. This is kind of the the thing. Anyone who made it to that second checkpoint was going to have a pretty quick clear after that because the third section is very short and it's not as hard as the second section so with two minutes left let's see if Mathis can make a little bit more progress here see if he can claim that uh, that third place spot alone and potentially even a second place spot again the placings are just for show it's really uh, do you beat your opponent so He's lying. The placings mean everything. <laughs> <laughs> you see Ryan getting into the experimental phase here. Uh, again, this is just the issue is he just needed a little bit more time to, to learn this section. Interesting opting for the spin jump there. That's not how I really went about the level, but... He is he's learning it quickly though. I, I think he's potentially minutes away from beating the level and it's it's unfortunate that his time will run out in one minute. Because it would be nice to see someone clear this level. Uh well someone in chat pointed out too, I don't know how intuitive the vine really is, so I think maybe you miss that once or twice before you're like, Oh, I gotta yeah. go for that. So it's interesting, uh the only reference I have for that is Panga. Panga got the vine on the first try. Okay. Uh, so he was aware and was able to recognize it. And man, Ryan looks really good. He 
He needs a spin jump there, but he's not. Doesn't quite get it. With 10 seconds left, I'm going to go hit up Mathis first and let him know what happened. And I, I will be returning shortly, guys. Right. See you in a minute. All right. Mathis. Hello. An hour has passed. I figured we were getting there. Yeah, it 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 it, it was a close game for for a good chunk. You uh, Ryan got off to a really early lead. You brought it back uh, halfway through, around thirty five minutes. But uh, he Ryan absolutely exploded at the end there and was able to get to the second checkpoint. Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I saw I saw some people in chat saying he got to the second checkpoint. I was like, oh, I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you you were up. you were right there. That double muncher section that was the real oh, difference dude, maker. Dude, that fucking murdered me so many times. Yeah, <laughs> Ryan, I, he he's the only player so far I think to get that consistently. So that's why he was able to do what he did. But hey, good a, for him. A close match, very close. Yeah. I, I don't think any player looked too bad today. So so good job. Uh, we'll we'll see you next week with the with that matchup. And uh, hey, thanks for playing this week, man. Thank you very much. I'll see you next week, bro. Uh, yeah. Bye. Ryan. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I'm sure hello. you probably realize it by now, but uh, you have absolutely uh, smashed this one. Did and I win? Did I break it? You have won, and you actually have made the most progress of any player oh, so far. Oh, my God. Uh, Bear Taffy was in second place. He made it to the the uh, the second to last jump on the second section so that spike He's a respectable trap jump. player that's very, not a surprise to me very very close but you uh, made it to the second checkpoint the only player to do so and uh, that's a strong showing man you you look like the strongest player people are going to be looking at you as the guy to beat now honestly uh, that's a position I'm comfortable with right. I, I don't mind being looked at well uh, well hey good job to you are you going to try to finish the level right now or I don't know I was thinking I might probably you know I got like thirty seconds and then I got it. Right, all, right, all, right, all right, well, fair enough. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for playing. We'll see you next week, Dude, man. Good. Thanks for thanks for putting it on. It's a great level.